Welcome to User and I, the channel where I explore all things UX and UI design. And today we're back with another video and we'll be discussing padding. I had a comment on my YouTube channel a few weeks ago when I made my previous video about padding, which you can find in the pullout above. And the question was, can you explain what the padding is and why we need it? And I thought a good way to explain that would be with an example. So let's take, for example, a button. If I just create that real quick. I'm going to scale it up a tiny bit and then I'm going to make that a group and I'm going to give it an auto layout. What I'm also going to do is give it some fill and I'm going to make that something a bit less harsh blue on the background and I'm going to make the text color white. So. The padding would be the spacing between the button text and the edge of the blue rectangle. So padding can be described as the space between your element and the rest of its background, for lack of a better word. And what we do to change that is we use these values here in Figma. So that would be the left and the right padding and that would be the top and the bottom. So what we can see is that if we hover over it, this dotted line is our actual element and the padding would be the space between this dotted line and this solid line here. If we click on it, we can see these four lines appear. And what this allows us to do is to manually affect each padding independent of the other. And you can also see it changing here. So that's what the padding is. Now, why do we need it? Well, there's three reasons I would suggest we need padding. One, our button, our elements do look considerably nicer. It allows our elements and the important parts of our design to breathe. That's one concept I've always remembered when I'm designing. Now, from a developer perspective, if we removed padding from our designs, what would happen is that it's just this text area that will be clickable. But if we had padding, what the user can then do is click anywhere in this button and whatever this button does will take effect. Now, as from an accessibility point of view, it gives the user much more room to get from one place to another instead of clicking just the text. Also, it's difficult sometimes on a web page to click on just the text to get to where you want to get to. So those are the two reasons I would give as to why padding is important in our designs. If you can think of any more, feel free to let me know in the comments below. Or if you can find a reason against padding, that would be interesting as well. So I hope this answered your question and I'll see you on the next video.